Hello, as when you are coming from Kenya, actually we knew we are going to customer care service and that is what we were told by the agent by the name of Cliff Magara. And then uh, he called us the previous day before actually to the airport and we had a, we spent a night to Great Hall apartments somewhere after she came out. And then from Great Hall we were picked by a V8 Black KCE 553A by two Chinese and one guy by the name Eric and the other one was Mark. Eric is his translator and also associator of everything. So as when you go to Bangkok, we were surprised when you were sent other tickets I'll send, which I'll send to you to Don Mueng, something of that sort, yeah. but I don't know how to pronounce the name clearly. And then we took the plane to a place called Mysot, of which I'll also send you the photos of Mysot Airport. From my sort, we were taken to a certain hotel by the name uh, Centra. And before, actually, in Thailand, Bangkok, we had spent in Red Planet. In my sort, we spent in Centra Hotel for a single night. My Red Planet was two nights. From there, we were taken by two cars, of which I'll also send you the video. I'll send you the photos of the cars which took us. We were taken to a certain... We came... We actually didn't know where we were going. Only to find ourselves in a river place whereby we crossed the river from the river side after the, the other side of the river we were taken by two cars actually with a very heavy escort of green barrettes i don't know actually if the green barrettes of this country with a very heavy escort of police securities up to a place that i'll send you also uh the place it's exactly the place and the location from that place that is where actually we're told that is our working area it was like a villa like so we were given conditions. We asked which job actually they never told us which job actually we got there to do from our from our normal from the first word go we knew it's customer care service in Thailand only to find ourselves in another place. Later a few days later is when we realized actually we're in a place called Bama Mayarma Mayam. Something of that name, yeah. Mayam. From that day, of date 28th of May, we were given laptops, we were given desktops, and uh, we were shown that is our working area, and we were given condition not to interact with anyone, actually outside the work, uh, the working station, not to take photos, and not to go places that we have not been told to go, and not even to get out of the gate. Everything we do it within the area. So as we started the job, actually didn't know it's a it's an online job. They called themselves the OKX the OKX, but they also said it's also OKX plus. So we said to ourselves, let us keep a trial. We tried, but it was really hard, and embarrassments and harassment every moment. So we said to ourselves that we don't want the job. The first day they locked us for almost ten hours in a dark place, no anything, no food, no water. From that place, they they came and gave us two conditions. It's either we pay the company's money, of which they said it's one one million point six, one point six million Kenyan money, or else it's either we work for them, or else it's either they kill us. So since we didn't have communication and we go, we, okay, from the office we got it by abrupt. So we decided like let us go to work so that we may get communication, of which we also from that day we gave communication of which I'll give you the full details from the word go. From that day, we decided to work. But it will go to work hard by day by day because we are being given punishments if you don't get their targets, if you don't get a client to deposit money into their website. And after someone deposits money from their website, they, they close the website, they've opened another one. Uh, if you don't get a client, actually, you are being deducted 2,000 bucks from your salary. If you don't get... Uh, if you don't finish your work by uh, what they'd given you saturday they'll give you overtime overtime of which you get to work 11 30 to 11 30 of which you now you'll work from after 11 30 you'll also have to work for another extra three hours of which that one is not overtime that you're going to be paid that one is a punishment or else you will do squats 50 squats and 50, 100 press ups if not so there is a guy called himself a war in the company of which i'll send you the number of the guy uh he used to like he will beat you up uh from that day for us it was really hard because actually we have been deducted from our salaries was all every moment everything 
I were given medical cover, but once you get sick, it's not their concern. Once you go to the hospital, they come and tell you. We don't have medical cover, so we deduct the money from your salary, of which the hospital they take it's very expensive. It only gets you by surprise of which the medical bill. And uh, from there, if you don't, uh, if you don't, uh, if you don't go for morning run, of which you're being forced to run in the morning, if you don't go for the morning run. You're also being deducted four thousand US. You are not being deducted four thousand, two thousand, or four thousand. If you don't go for the first time, it's two thousand. If you don't go for the second time, it will be four thousand. If you don't go from that one, you'll be locked up by securities, and maybe you'll be threatened. You don't. If you don't go for the first time, it's two thousand. If you don't go for the second time, it will be four thousand. If you don't go from that one, you'll be locked up by securities, and maybe you'll be threatened. You don't know what they may tell you. So uh, a few days ago, we started complaining uh, to from from work that we started complaining to our parents like it's getting hard. Now yesterday they took us all of us out. I was locked up in my room. My friends were locked up in their office. And I was forced, like, I should not see them. And uh, from there, we okay. Only God who made a way that we became, uh, like, one group. And we were told, we were given three conditions. It's either we work for them, they sell us to another company, they kill us, or we'll be locked for seven good days without food and without water in a, in a dark place, and we'll, be mis and we'll be mistreated from that dark site. So it was really hard. So for us, we had taken the option of dying. So when they saw, like, we're not afraid of dying, it was a little, it was a little bit hard of drama. A friend of uh, one of us was also eat, eat on the chest, but by surprise, yeah. And we were called for security. The security was called on us with guns and everything. So we told them if it's shooting, they shoot. If it's not shooting, then they let us go. And they have not even we have not been paid for the 45 days we had worked that is one month and a half we have not yet been paid so yesterday we were told like there is another company that will also come if you we want to go to another company we don't we refuse the killers or they do whatever they wanted to do so actually we took we had to thank waisa so when the other guy of the other company came for us we told him actually as we don't want to go we don't go and we were forced in the cars by security men and we were locked in the car and we were dropped to a place that I'll also send the location. When the guy got here, we told him actually as we have a contract paper of which we signed this and the other one, we have not been paid our monthly salary and he had our passport. So he was also surprised that we don't have monthly salary. We had given him the contract paper that we signed and every condition. So he told us like we stay where we are right now. We stay, I'll also send the location of where we are. We stay in this place for the few days as he gets us our salary, of which I don't know. Actually, we cannot trust anyone in this place. So we are only awaiting what we don't know. We are in a place that we don't know what we are awa awaits us. So I kindly we do ask for help. And there is a Ugandan girl we left behind. She also needs help, and and they have not yet been paid. It's really a mess. Kindly, we really need help to get out of this place.